come out here and try to improve on things and you know I work with these coaches and it's been fun. Is there an area where you feel like you progressed uh, the most from Monday to today? Um, you know, I feel just everything under center, feel, getting comfortable with that, um, and just the drops and the offense, you know, feeling more and more comfortable. How much are you looking forward to showing what you can do in a game? Oh, that'll, Saturday. Be, that'll be fun. Um, you know, not having this amazing looking yellow jersey on, you know, being able to play some football, that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Tim, how are you feeling? It sounded like Monday night was pretty rough for you. Um, I, I'm doing okay. Uh, so, yeah. What, what, what happened on Monday? Um, you know, I, I've kind of been sick a little bit since Saturday, so I just, I, I, you know, dealing with straps, so you might not want to touch me. <laughs> there was a report you were hospitalized. Was that true? Or, or no? uh, I had to run and go see some doctors, but that's about it. There's been a lot of talk about, you know, uh, teams needing to work on your release. Uh, how do you feel about that? Do you, do you agree with that, or do you think what you're doing? Um, you know, I think, um, you know, it, it depends on the coaches. It depends on the, the organization, I feel. Uh, you know, with quickening it, yeah, we can work on that. But the, with the actual release, I think it's, it's okay. So They talked about, you know, the lengthening uh -huh. being too long. Do you, do you disagree that it's too long? Or? Well, I think there's definitely room for improvement and quickening it, absolutely. Um, um, you know, but there are other guys playing in the league who have similar releases. But, yes, I would like to quicken it. Who do you feel is similar to you? Uh, you know, I don't know. Just, Tim, are you surprised off the field uh, the, the life that this uh, Super Bowl ad has taken and all the national controversy that's going on? There? Yeah, I definitely didn't think it would have this much hype, um, definitely that much buzz. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's something I believe in and, you know, I'll stand up for it. So. Some are wondering if the Super Bowl is the time and place to, to bring up issues like that. Do you, I guess you're getting your message out even before. Maybe not, you not even need to buy the spot now, huh? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. So. Is there a message you're trying to get out and the reason you did that? No, it's just, you know, me and my love, me and my mom showing our love for each other. And, um, you know, that's that's pretty much what it's about. So Has the commercial come up in the interviews with the teams at all? Have they wanted to talk about it? Uh, not really, no. Like why you would take a stand and things like that? No, I mean, I think if, if anything, they, they like that I take a stand on what I believe. And, um, you know, if, if they don't, if that's something that would hesitate them from bringing me on, then it probably wouldn't be a good fit for me in the first place. Um, because I'm never going to, um, you know, deny what I believe in and things like that just for a, a game. Can you tell us what the spot looks like and what, what the theme of it was? How well, it was I mean, y'all will, you know, probably watching the Super Bowl and see y'all have a chance to see it, so I'll wait and let y'all watch. So it, it will run? You think it will run? Uh, I mean, that's why we filmed it, so hopefully it will. <laughs> Tim, how are you getting along with the Alabama guys? You, they've been giving you a hard time at all? Or? <laughs> yeah, we're getting along well. They're good guys, and... Um, yeah, we've had fun, you know, and trash talking back and forth, but, you know, just giving each other hard times, but it's been a lot of fun. You and Arenas in particular, it seems like going at it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we've had fun. Um, and, uh, you know, even in the break down there, they're, you know, they're saying, go Alabama, you know, trying to get me to say that and things like that. So <laughs> it's been fun. Tim, the fact that people uh, debate your pro prospects so much, I mean, at the end of the day, do you kind of, do you embrace all that? Do you like being sort of an enigma? Um, yeah, I just try to go out there and work hard and I'm a pretty self-motivated person, but I think, you know, I can use that as motivation as well and just throw it on top. Tim, if you get into the league and, you know, initially a team while you're developing as a quarterback asking you to play other positions, would you be willing to do that? Um, you know, if I can't work out as a quarterback or, you know, while I'm waiting, yes, I would help the team anyway I could. Have you seen some of that? Like, I know Cordell Stewart's an obvious example of a guy who was moved around and played in different positions before he settled as a quarterback. Have you, have you given thought to all of that? And, how you might fit outside just being a quarterback? Well, not really. Right now, I'm just trying to focus on the senior bowl and the combine and the pro day, and uh, you know, just focus on it like that. And I'm not too worried, you know, what a team's going to do with me. Just that, uh, you know, they, they take me right now. So. How's the adjustment process been as far as learning just NFL terminology, getting what they've thrown at you this week? It's been, it's been, it's been great. It's been, you know, uh, I felt very prepared for it and very ready, so that part has been a very easy adjustment. One of those things as the week goes on, it gets easier for you? Um, you know, I don't even necessarily think that I felt comfortable with the, you know, the, the plays and the calls and the cadences and everything like that pretty early on. Is there a reason you cut the swoosh out of your pants? Um, it's... Yeah, they, you know, they didn't want that on there for the, the senior ball. <laughs> so looking ahead, do you plan on doing the combine and, and everything? Or? Uh, yeah. yeah. Throwing. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but I, I will be going out there and competing, yeah. Kim, it seems like you got better out here every day. Do you feel just more comfortable? Yeah, I feel, I feel comfortable out here. I, I'm enjoying 
of this, enjoying the process, and uh, just working with the, co uh, the coaches and Coach Henning and Coach Lee, and I feel they're helping me and you know, working on things, so it's been good. Do you, how are you feeling? Do you feel like you're over the strep throat? Or um, not quite. You want to give me a hug? <laughs> <laughs> Were you in the you stopped me by tracks? Were you in the hospital? Was it just to get IVs or you just stay overnight? Uh, yeah, but then after that, we can just do IVs at the hospital now. So it's fine. How confident would you say you are that you can excel at quarterback? In How confident that you can excel? Well, I believe in myself and I believe in my ability and my ability to be coachable, my ability to work hard. So I feel with those things, you know, I could be an NFL quarterback. If you have the team to ask you, if, you know, they have these personal workouts where you're flying into the city and they'll work you out. If a team said, okay, well, we want to see you play other positions too, would you be more than willing to do that? Or would you be ready to do it? I don't know. It's something I haven't really thought about. Um, I don't know. You know, no, I'm not going to train to be ready for that. But, you know, if I go out there, you know, hopefully I'll be somewhat of an athlete that won't look too dumb out there. How's, so. how's David Lee helped you? Um, he, he's a great coach. One, just, you know, progressions, reads, you know, fundamentals. Um, you know, he's been around a long time and knows a lot of football. Tim, you've worked with uh, Jimmy Graham for past couple weeks up in Nashville. What are your thoughts on him? I think he's a, a very talented player with a very big upside. Um, you know, I think his football ability, um, you know, is just going to keep increasing. Um, you know, he's someone that can, can fill out, keep getting stronger. I mean, he's very athletic. Um, you know, he's like 6'7", 39 half inch vertical leap, and he mm -hmm. can just, you know, he's a very athletic basketball player, so he keeps you know, getting into football and keeps practicing. He's just going to get better and better. He's going to be a good NFL tight end. Do you think there's a style of offense that you fit better in, such as West Coast or anything? Um, I don't know. I believe that I could fit into a, a lot of different styles of offenses because I could, would be coachable and work hard at learning uh, their scheme and how to fit into it. Um, but then, I, obviously, just like at Florida, you, you know, whatever you do very well, that's what you kind of mold, you know, the offense around, the plays around. So I think I could fit into different things. Can you talk about how you're learning to say no to people who you really don't want to say no to away from the field with all these requests? I know I probably had 10 at the office for me to get to you to talk to a special needs kid or all the things that you have to well, do. Well, I mean, I, I'm, tr I'm trying to learn how to say no to, you know, to the, the meaningless things. Um, but things with the special needs kids, that, that's not ne necessarily meaningless. So, yes, there are a lot of, you know, demands, you know, on my time. Um, but, you know, a lot of them are great. So I, I you know, relish a lot of them and, and enjoy doing them. But some of them you just got to say no to. And so I've been learning to say that, although it's very hard because I like to please everybody. Are you still surprised by how much attention you get? Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't really think about something like that, you know. So to be honest with you. Are you working with any kind of quarterback coach to do training? Yeah, I've been working with Zeke Radkowski um, a lot. I spent a few days with Mark Dressman, and I spent a little time with Sam Weish. How how they help the players some of the best players? <laughs> I mean, fundamentals, footwork, uh, balance, body position. Uh, I mean, everything. Just the game of football. Was, was Trestman chosen because of his link with Steve Young and everything? I know it was one of your... Um, yeah, I mean, well, it's not necessary. Why I knew him recruiting. He recruited me to NC State in high school. And uh, so I, I've had a great relationship with him and kept up with him a lot. And um, so, yeah, no, we've, we've talked throughout the, the last four years. And um, and so, yeah, we, just, we met up and worked for a few days. And he's a great coach, so it's an honor that he'll work with me. Pardon me Two for asking another question about this. But CBS News is asking me to ask you a few more questions about okay. the, the controversy. Okay. Do they, want, they want to know if the Super Bowl is the time and place to discuss these type of issues. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think it's it's anything that's negative or anything like that. So I think, um, you know, it's a good time and place. I think there's a lot of people watching. I think it's a, a great opportunity to, to show, you know, something very happy and a, a special story and, you know, my mom fighting for me. So I think that there are a lot of great things in that. How can someone throw for like a million yards like he did against an unbeaten Cincinnati team and people wonder when he got like water <laughs> I don't know, but um, you know, I just you just got to keep it going out here and working every day and uh, okay. trying to improve. And I got a lot of room to improve, and I'm just going to keep working and trying to get better. Hey, you pumped your stock? Thanks. I don't know. Thanks.